Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to my morning run. Kind of a run walk. Sounds like somebody calling a dog around me. Um, anyway, I came to the top here of this hill and I often don't know um, when I wake up if there's going to be a video in me or not. And that's when my mind starts thinking, you know, is there something to say today? But once I step out, I move my body, I get my, some fresh air, connect with nature, you know, the wider world, sometimes it's something that bubbles to the top. And here's what is coming to the top, from the top of the mountain. And it's this. We have outsourced our own sense of aliveness. And I believe this is one of the uh, causes, one of the biggest crises, crises on the planet today. So let me just unpack that. This does not have to be complicated, by the way. Healing does not have to be complicated. What we have learned is to abdicate ourselves to perhaps a teacher, uh, perhaps a leader, um, society, cultural rules, all those things that are outside of us at the expense of our own knowing, or the own, our own aliveness in our own heart that each and every one of you has. It doesn't matter what has happened to you in this life. It doesn't matter where you are or how you are. There is a source of aliveness or you wouldn't be here. It is who you are and only you have access to it. Now remember, the mind will come in and say, oh, where is it? Where, where can I find it? And I don't think I have one. <laughs> so just watch that because the mind will make things very complicated and it's not complicated. Just start to notice where you outsource yourself out of fear. Now learning and um, getting support is a completely different thing and it's a different energy. So I went to school, I went to graduate school and I learned things and I took in information and you know, I talk to people almost every day and get support and advice and, and my husband and we talk about things and there's this like co-creation going on. But what you want to watch out for is where you give yourself over to someone else's um, uh, teachings or um, advice and here's how you can know if it fits for you or not you can start to sense in to your own body and take the time to sit with yourself and just see see what it feels like I've done this many times to say you know what I'm I'm not going going to listen to that or I'm not going to follow it and there's this just really subtle sense of relief so um, you can you are your own barometer for your own aliveness and this is you know been talked out of us for centuries we've been told to fear to fear who we are to fear our quirkiness and our wildness and maybe our sexuality or our loudness or our anger or our voice or you know that our body's all wrong it's not true 100 percent bs you have a tremendously powerful source of aliveness in your own body right now you don't have to change anything so that's what I was thinking of when I set out for my um, I thought it was gonna be a walk and then my body said oh you know I think you I think you should run and then I started running and I do not try to measure myself anymore because that becomes unless I'm curious and there's nothing wrong with setting goals there's nothing wrong with running a marathon if that's what you want to do but I really look at my motivation and I try as best as I can to stay true to um, how I feel and um, and you know one step at a time and one moment at a time and sometimes it feels really good to push yourself hard and sometimes your body's like let's go and in other times it says rest and that is the voice 
of your soul.